Hi everyone, this is Paul Schmutzler. I'm here today to tell you all about something that has made my life a whole lot easier, and that is having an efficient way to share a video project with a client that allows them to comment and approve the video without having to upload and download files repeatedly through a service like Dropbox or Google Drive or a private FTP even. There's two services that are available right now that I'm going to introduce to you today. One is called Frame.io and the other one is called Whipster. Frame is a New York City based company and they just recently won an Apple Design Award for their mobile app. Whipster is based out of New Zealand and you may know them if you're a Vimeo user because they have tight integration with Vimeo.com. So what I want to do today is not necessarily compare them and say one is better than the other, but I want to introduce you to both so that you can see what you can do with them and so you can judge for yourself which might be the better option for you to use. Both of these services have integration with Premiere Pro now. They have their own panels that you can download and install. If you haven't installed a custom panel before, a custom panel is like a plugin, but it actually gives you an entire tool set and its own window within your application. They're doing more than just loading a web page within the application. It's actually software that's designed to run inside of Premiere Pro, so it's very efficient. It doesn't bog anything down because it saves you from having to export a video in a manual way outside of the application and then open your browser, navigate to a web page, and upload the video. It does it all from within the application. So let's start with Frame.io and I'll walk you through that process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this with two of my family members and they're ready and waiting to comment on these videos once I get them uploaded. And what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead a little bit so you can not have to sit there and wait on the renders and the uploads, but you're going to see how their comments come in real time and how I can sync those back to my timelines and then start addressing those comments and changes that they want to see. So I have a project open that I just completed recently. This is my program window. So you see this is my timeline. This is, this is my edited project. I've already got everything put in here, including music, which I won't include just so it's not distracting. And it's only a minute long, so this will be an easy one to test with because it won't take a long time to render and upload. But I've got this project done, and I want to send it to clients for feedback to see what they think. So in frame, I'm going to go here first, and I'm going to upload a video. And you can choose from these options. Of course, I want this active sequence because that's the project I'm working on in Premiere Pro. The next thing you can do is choose the options for the quality, ProRes, audio only, or two different web uh, compressions here. I'm going to choose the 720 because that's adequate for a review. And you can choose what part of the project you want to render. And then you can tell it where to go. In my case, I'm going to set it to a folder on my external hard drive because that's where I save everything. And then there's a few more checkboxes down here. If you have made comments in markers to your client, you can include those now or you can leave them off. And then you can keep the rendered file or have it just upload it and then delete it from your local drive. And auto versioning just enables you to upload further versions later without having to make a new project every time. It's going to say this is version 2, this is version 3, and so on. So I'm going to click Upload. What it's going to do is, as you can see, launch Media Encoder in the background, and then it will encode the video. I'll bring this to the front so you can see it. It will automatically start encoding. As soon as it encodes, it's going to then upload the video to Frame.io's servers. And here is where I'm going to pause and come back as soon as that process is over with. So that end code has completed, and you can see now that Frame is automatically uploading the video to their server. And once it's uploaded, I'll then use the share button here to share it with whoever I want to be able to comment on this project. The video has now been uploaded and processed on Frame's server, and it's ready for me to share it with individuals that I want to be able to comment on it. So by clicking share, I can turn on sharing if it's not already and copy a private link that's unique and share it with whoever I want to. Now as you can see I've opened my account in the browser. From here I'll be able to see when people start commenting on the video. I can watch the video, I can make comments myself, I can respond to whatever comments are made down here below as they start coming in. But this is your account, this is where you'd make all your changes, set up payments, 
change preferences, and you can actually change different options of the video itself. Grayscale mode would work kind of like those who really like grayscale only in their viewfinders. It, it eliminates the color from being distracting. You can have the timeline scroll while you play, and of course you can turn the comments on or off while you're watching it. So depending on your viewing environment and exactly how you want to tailor it, you can do that here. The other thing I can do is I can share it with more people and I can download it. Downloading is something you can control. You can choose whether they're allowed to download the video or not. Now you just saw a comment come in right there on my screen and that was made in real time. So you can see my wife made a comment. If I click on it, it takes me to that time and it shows me what she's referring to. And she says, what do you think about shortening the sequence? So I know she's referring to the middle section here where I use this yellow graphic. So I can then reply to hers and say, no way, I'm the editor here. And she will immediately be notified about my snarky comment. Going back into the panel in Premiere Pro, you can see I also have a notification saying somebody commented on it. Clicking on the comment does the same thing. It brings me to that point. It shows me who commented. It shows me the comment. And you can see also here, even within Premiere Pro, the program window has jumped to that exact point in time. And you can see while I was responding to that first one, I've now gotten a second comment from another viewer. So Linda says, I like the brain... I think she meant big. I like the big green banners to get the viewer's attention. So I can immediately jump to that point on the timeline and say, okay, great, she likes that. And I'm going to like her comment because she told me something positive, unlike my other commenter. <clears throat> and you'll also note that everything I'm doing in the web application is syncing entirely across into Premiere Pro on the fly. So there's no need to press buttons, no need to close the project and reopen it. It's all just showing up in real time. So it makes working on these videos super fast. So that's Frame.io. Now let's move over to Whipster and I'll show you how that application works. Whipster also has its own panel that I'm using in Premiere Pro. You can see here I actually have a team and under there I can create project folders. So again, using the same video, I'm going to upload the timeline with this green button down here and again choose my options. The destination is in the folder I'm already navigated to and I'm gonna choose a draft quality this time just to save a little bit of time and we can also choose a few, a few options here. I do like the ability to share this immediately by checking this button because this way when I hit start upload then share I, I can walk away and I can come back the next day or hours later and everything will have worked in the background for me and my contributors can already be commenting. So I want to add an approval button to this so that when they are, a, they are finally signed off, they can click this button that says, we are completely approving this video. It is ready to go. No more changes. That's great because it's always nice to have that very clear acknowledgement by your client that they are completely satisfied with this project. So they can't come back later and say, you completed the project without my approval, even though you maybe have thought that you had their approval. And of course, we can disable downloading, we can make it so that they can't comment, and we can password protect it. So depending on how secure you need it to be, you can do a lot here with it right within this panel. So as soon as I hit start, upload, and share, once again, Media Encoder is launched, and the encode begins, and then it will upload and process the video and share it with my clients immediately. The video has completed its render in the Media Encoder. Now, Whipster has uploaded the video and is processing it, as soon as it's done processing, it will then share It will then share with the collaborators. It's now been shared with my two clients, and at any moment they should start commenting, and that notification will start to come in here inside of Premiere Pro. While we're waiting on that, I'll go ahead and show you what Whipster looks like in the browser as well. Here's my project in Whipster on the web, and you can see who I've shared it with here on the left by their initials. I can change the quality here. If I had a higher resolution, I could down-res it to something more manageable if I was on a slow connection trying to watch this. I can also share it with others and see more specs about the video, including who's viewed it, who's commented, and who has approved it if necessary. And if you have one of those clients that's just slow to respond to anything, you know, wait a day or so and then hit this little nudge button and that will let them know, hey, remember you're supposed to comment on this video and give feedback if you want to meet your deadline. Aha, you can see I have my first comment now. 
And I'm going to click on this to bring up the comment window. And hey, we've got a positive comment right off the back. That's great. So we can go to that comment made by Heidi. Whipster does not automatically pull in those comments. So I'll hit the refresh button. And the comment now comes in, including a thumbnail that I can view right there in this panel. You can also see I have a second comment to respond to. The client should spray the back of the vinyl as well. Yes, they should. And while I'm waiting for another response, I can show you here in Premiere Pro, it's created markers where I have comments and actually see what was said there as well. So it brings all the comments in as actual markers in Premiere Pro, which is great because as I'm completing these and I check them off, like say, when I mark that as complete, it grays it out showing that this whole issue has now been dealt with. So it makes it really easy to quickly scroll through here and see what still needs to be fixed or not because it shows color where I still have to address something and everything goes grayscale if I've already taken care of it. Once I've gotten enough comments to be worth making a new version, all I need to do is make my changes here in Premiere Pro wherever I need to. I can use these markers to quickly jump around and find where I need to make the changes. As I'm going through, I can check these off showing that I've already done them. And when I'm ready, I can just go here and say resync version one. And that will replace this with the new version. And my collaborators can then start commenting on the new version and see if they need to still address some of the previous issues or if everything has been taken care of. Now you can see my other collaborator has commented here in green, which matches that person's icon here on the left. So you can even see who's commenting where and how much they're commenting. Right now it's blue two, green one. Blue is winning. And she just makes a nice positive observation here. I'm going to like it to tell her I agree with her and click OK and mark it as completed because there's nothing to really do on this one. That means that all three of my comments have been addressed completely and I can now essentially finish off the project. And what I would want to do is make sure that everyone's happy with it. So using that wonderful approval button, I can look here and see if they approved it. You can see people who have commented, but nobody's actually approved it. I can either go to one of the comments, uncomplete it, and respond to it, or I can just make my own comment, maybe here at the end, and ask, are we approved? My comment now shows up for everyone else to be able to see. And then hopefully here, my two commenters will reply and say yes and yes. And you can see now I do have one approval from a commenter. And as soon as I have the approval from the other commenter, I can sign off on this, export the final project, and upload it or share it wherever I need to. So that's an overview of Whipster and Frame.io. Both of these services are meant to fulfill the same purpose. They're supposed to ease the pain point, sharing projects with your clients, and waiting on feedback. It makes it super easy by building everything right into Premiere Pro, but it gives you the flexibility of using things like mobile apps or mobile browsers or doing it on a desktop. Another key difference between these two services is going to be pricing. I'll show you the pricing comparisons here so you can kind of see how they're structured. It is a fee that you pay by month or by team member, depending on the service you're using. Depending on your budget and workflow, these plans are flexible for how many projects you do each month and how many team members you need to be able to collaborate with at any given time. So check out frame.io and whipster.io and figure out which of these two services would serve you best and make your life as an editor a whole lot easier.